The Deco Times has confirmed that Harry and Meghan Markle were visiting them in Costa Rica uh, in Playa Carrillos near Guanacaste. You've all seen me spend time in San Juan del Sur, which is a beach, you know, that I go to my friend's beach house. Guanacaste used to be part of me, uh, very adjacent to Costa Rica. And it, some of those beaches were part of Nicaragua until they were taken away and taken over by the Costa Ricans. That aside, isn't it lucky that one of my dearest friends, she is the head of tourism for entire Central America. And she has confirmed that not all is rosy. Not all was a nice visit for the couple. And why and how old is Meghan Markle really? Because, well, you'll see why in this video. So please keep on watching and we're gonna get into this because what really happened, what went on, and why were they there for reals? And why was it published most importantly? And thanks to my friend, thank you for, letting me know all of this hello gorgeous beautiful people this is a glorious day this is one of my favorite beaches el velero you can see that over there isn't it beautiful not a drop of rain coming right now praise the lord because i've seen enough rain for three months non-stop that's henrik over there i wish all 90,000 of you were here. You would fill up this beach to party and have a few beers. Yes, that city. Yes, isn't that a beautiful beach, beautiful people? I wish you had all been there with me. That's how beautiful the beaches in Nicaragua are. Um, I just want to read something here because the Tico Times is a very prestigious um, newspaper. And Prince Harry and Meghan Markle make secret visit to Costa Rica. Now, first of all, Meghan Markle was pretty angry that they didn't say the Duke and Duchess of Sussex because she wanted to be the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as the headline, but they didn't. According to local media reports by C.R. Oi, British royals, Oi is today, Costa Rica today, British royals, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle secretly visited Costa Rica last week. Okay. Megan is not British. Megan is American. She's not a royal. She's married to one. She's married to a British royal. But Meghan Markle is an American citizen who's not a royal. She's married to somebody in the royal family. <sighs> Continuing the country's reputation as a top destination for celebrity getaways. Actually, no, it's not anymore. But hey, I'm not going to get into that. But the reason why this was published is because Meghan Markle requested that for it to be published. And it's not all about tourism. It has to do with coffee because Costa Rica has a reputation for having uh, coffee, for growing coffee in Costa Rica. I don't know. You've, I know you've seen all of that. And I'll let you in on a little secret. A lot of Costa Rican uh, producers come to Nicaragua to buy the coffee because they don't have enough agricultural land to produce the amount of coffee they claim to do so. I can tell you that because they come and buy. I actually put a stop to that. Uh, I don't sell to them anymore. They came to buy, they, they used to come, I used to sell to them papayas and red flesh dragon fruit. But one of the main people who bought from me, um, who I used to sell to, said that, only Costa Rica did organic thing that they have a lot to teach in Nicaragua. When I was the one, I mean, the method I use for growing my, my fruit, guys, I don't mean to brag, but it's not, it's, well, it was my engineer, you know, who's, a, who's an amazing guy. It's zero. We don't use any pesticides, any chemicals in our plants. Everything is natural and it's so juicy and great. And, you know, and this is why they would come here and buy it. And then they would take it. They send us their, 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 their you know, the stand, how do you say it? The labels made in Costa Rica and everything, but it's actually from Nicaragua because Costa Rica does not have enough agricultural land to produce what they claim to sell and export. They come to Nicaragua and they buy papayas, even bananas, <laughs> you know, the uh, everything, red flesh, dragon fruit, coffee, because Nicaragua has a lot of coffee there. So this is why Meghan Markle was there. And from what my friend tells me, because she's the director of the Central American Tourism, because there's a thing for the entire strip of Central America, which is 
a um, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. So it's a strip, those little six countries that join North and South America. So there is a, um, an organization, a government organization that promotes tourism in all that area. So, and she's based right now in El Salvador, but she was in Costa Rica. So all of these VIPs, she gets to know who they are. Apparently Harry took off on the second, no, the third day morning. He didn't spend the third day there. And yes, they were without the children. And Meghan Markle wasn't just at the beach. So why does Meghan Markle want this to be known? Why? Because we don't hear where the, where the, where the royals go on, on vacation. I mean, ever. We, we don't get told where Catherine or any of the royals go on vacation. But Meghan wants people to know that she was an exclusive resort. By the way, she didn't pay for that resort. It was comp. So, um, because they don't pay for anything and they did take a private jet. So yes, so why am I bringing this up? And why does that have to do with Meghan Markle's age? I will tell you right now. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex entered Costa Rica on December 14th and departed earlier today, December 20th, after enjoying nearly a week visiting the beautiful beaches and rainforests. The beautiful beaches that are in Guanacaste, they're a border of Nicaragua. I already explained to you what that was. Apparently, the couple spent most, much of their time relaxing at scenic Playa Carrillo and the nearby beaches of Guanacaste province, which is near Nicaragua. Internationally renowned for their pristine sands and world-class resorts. However, Harry and Meghan are not the first celebrities, they, uh, blah, blah, blah. Then they talk about Shakira and blah, blah, blah. <sighs> no strangers to controversy since their fairy tale wedding created by them. And this is where the young part comes in. The young royals likely value their low key escape to Costa Rica's pu pura vida, pure life, atmosphere out of the constant media glare. Though details of their tropical getaway are sc scarce, one thing is certain Meghan and Harry join a long tradition of a listers. Okay, that's crap. I am shocked why they keep saying young royals. Some people say Meghan Markle is 47 years of age, 45. Um, she's actually 42. But even at 42, she's not no young chicken. Young are our Lady Louis and 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 Viscount uh, and Prince Edward's kids. Meghan Markle is a middle-aged woman. She is in her 40s. That is not young. Young royals, Lady Louise, or, you know, I'm trying to think of any other young, we're talking, sorry, we're talking 20s, at the most 35. But from 35 up, you're not a young person. You are a middle aged you are an adult, a mature adult. So I'm always shocked that they keep using the word young for me to associate it with Meghan Markle and Harry. Harry is gonna be 40. Meghan Markle is gonna be 43. And so for those people who send me things that I'm an old, decrepit woman, I ha don't have any Botox. Look at my skin. Look at my face. Nice. I don't mean to brag. I'm not beautiful or anything. But it's just all me. This is all natural. Meghan Marco, with all the money in the world, looks like she's my age, badly lived. Because her skin is awful. The bronzer is awful. Everything is awful about this woman. So no, she was there because of the coffee. She was there because she got comped for that. And she's doing it as a tax write-off for the Clever brand, of which Oprah is one of the big investors. Not as much Megan, by the way. It's Oprah. So yeah, why are they referring to Meghan Markle, a nearly 43-year-old woman, as young? And where are the kids? Since September, since, and this is, these are the trips we know of. Since September, they've gone through Dusseldorf. Uh, I mean, what was it? They've done so many trips. Vancouver. I mean, they've been everywhere. Atlanta. I mean, they've been everywhere. I did a video where I said that in the 60 days from September, October, September, mid-September to mid-January, mid-November, they had, out of the 60 days, they had spent only like 20 days with the kids. And now we have, uh, you know, they've done, they've done New York a few times. Now they had to take away one week to Costa Rica 
to a beach where, where I'm sure the children would have loved it because they needed to get away from the media glare. What media glare? Nobody's glaring at them at all. Nobody cares about them. Where are the children? Where are the children? Why do they need to get away from their own children instead of bringing those kids at that age? They would have loved the beach. I used to drive with Hendrik to, through Costa Rica and he loved it. And I mean, everywhere I went to the beaches, you know, you play sand, you make sand castles with your kids and stuff like that. But where were the kids? Why isn't the family unit there and why is Harry allowing it? And no, I wish people would, especially the press, would stop calling her a young, ro the ro young royals. They're not young. They're middle-aged royals. They're grown-ups. Lady Louise and, and, and uh, Prince, Prince, uh, Prince Edward's kids are young. Not even Beatrice or Eugenie are young anymore. They're, they're in their late 30s. I mean, so she releases that Clever Brands thing. And now she's allowing, she's asked, she asked the Costa Rican papers because my friend confirmed that it was a request by Meghan Markle to the newspapers to report on their visit. It was requested because otherwise there are so many celebrities that come. Let me give you an example. Matthew McConaughey has been to Nicaragua. Um, Matthew McConaughey, what's it called? Kurt Douglas and his, and, no, Michael Douglas and his wife have been here. Uh, Tom Cruise has been here. Pamela Anderson has been here. Morgan Freeman has been here. Keanu Reeves has been here. You never hear of that. And a lot of them have been to Costa Rica and yet you never hear of that but you have to hear Meghan Markle because she requested for it to be said, to be reported so people know she's an international traveler. And I'm going to do a video about the cost of her, of her security. The 16 months she was part of the working royal family until it was stopped. The 17 personal trips Meghan Markle took alone, alone. They were not official trips. This is from the date she got, she was married until the day she the, the security was taken away. I will tell you 17 trips, personal trips that this woman who claimed not to have a passport nor a driver's license took. This is on top of the private trips that personal trips that she took with Harry. Ibiza, twice to Italy, Amsterdam, Oslo, Norway, um uh, what's that? There's two other places. Those those 17 trips were the trips that she took to arrange her escape from the royal family very early on in 2018. Yeah, look forward to that video. But people, quit saying that Meghan Markle is a young royal. First, she's not royal. She's not British. And she's not young. She's 42-year-old. She's a middle-aged woman. Please leave me your comments, beautiful people.